everyone. Uh, to remind you, Easymore Server is a data automation application uh, that can be used for ETL automation, data preparation, and now it can also be used for uh, uh, as, as a web server for uh, serving uh, web requests. Uh, the API server functionality um, allows fast creation of API endpoints and uh, uh, it allows processing uh, queries uh, with up to 100 queries per second. Uh, also, uh, the API server is, um, is Git friendly, it supports versioning, uh, it allows designing robust uh, production ready APIs with uh, zero downtime. And also, uh, doing API testing is uh, quite convenient because you can do, uh, you can design uh, Isomorph workflows that will test uh, test your APIs. A few a few more words uh, uh, where this API functionality can be used. Uh, you can use it for real time uh, integration with other applications, where other applications will send HTTP requests to Isomorph server and it will respond uh, with with the payload. Um, and basically, this allows you to build APIs for anything that doesn't have an API. It can be a database, it can be a legacy application, or let's say a command line utility. Also, uh, custom API endpoints can be used for uh, as, as the backend for no-code application builders. Let's see uh, how it can be it can be created. In this video, I'm going to create a simple uh, workflow that will take two parameters and return them uh, as, uh, as JSON. So I will start with uh, creating two parameters. I'll call them A and B. I'll give them some default values like that. And uh, let's create a JSON for, from them. So I'll use the parameter table action. And in the table, I will apply also the construct JSON action. Uh, uh, notice that the column name must be named uh, in a specific way. It must be response body. By giving it such name, uh, we will tell Isomorph server that this column contains uh, the response body. Also, I would I will add one more column, also with a specific name, called response HTTP code, and it will be 200. 200 means OK, that is a successful, successful response. There is no error here. Now I'm going to save this project. Spend my API. And I'm going to publish it to Isomorph Server. Publish it to Isomorph Server. Now let's go to Isomorph Server and create an endpoint. Uh, you can see there is a new tab in Isomorph Server which is called API Endpoints. That's where the endpoints uh, are configured. The tab is uh, hidden by uh, by default, so you have to enable enable it in uh, in the space settings. To create an endpoint, press create endpoint. The endpoint name, well, let's call it just test. And the URL path would be test. And uh, I'm going to use a URL path segment as a parameter. So, and, uh, and that's why I insert A, the name of the parameter I'm going to assign uh, in curly braces, like that. Test slash A. Uh, now let's pick uh, the project that we've just created. Uh, demo API. There we go. And let's assign uh, project modules to HTTP methods. One Isomorph project can serve different uh, HTTP methods. Uh, for instance, one module can uh, can serve GET requests. Another module can serve POST requests. And, and so on. Uh, in this case, we have only one module, and we will uh, we will make uh, that module to serve a get incoming get requests. Uh, 
Now we have to finish uh, uh, assigning parameters. So I pressed assign parameters. Uh, okay, one parameter is already assigned with the, with the URL segment, uh, path segment. Now I'm going to assign the other parameter, parameter B, and I will assign, I can assign it with different uh, uh, other values like IP address, uh, request method, request body, request header, but I will use a URL parameter since it's a GET request, it will be easier to test, and I will call that parameter B. So press OK. Now I press OK and save changes. Uh, here we go. We have our endpoint configured. So let's test uh, how it works. Uh, I'm going to copy copy the public URL right from here. That's convenient that we have it here. Uh, here we go. And then I go to open a new tab and I enter test 123B equals ABC. Here we go. Uh, we have a response. Uh, this is exactly the response that we uh, expected. So let's see if it actually works. Let's change it to something else. 4, 5, 6, X, Y, Z. Yep, it works. So you, you could see it, it took us just a few minutes to create a new API endpoint. Uh, it's a simple uh, project, it's a simple logic, but um, uh, you can design way more complex uh, workflows that uh, interact with external applications, that construct more complex uh, JSON responses, uh, that you know, also use headers, configure headers, and uh, do many advanced, uh, advanced things. That's it for today. Thank you.